Hi guys, welcome back to Mass Talks. What a special day today. We're at the US premiere of Making Coco with Grant Pure, right here in Palm Springs, California. And it's gonna be the first time that the movie airs. We're super excited. What an honor, Grant. It's my pleasure, pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure. On Mass Talks, we just talk about masks a little bit. I'm okay with that. You're one of the rare goalies that played wearing the modern mask and the old vintage mask. I managed to cover all three. Oh. I wore the helmet and cage for part of a year too. Right. So. So which one did you prefer? I like the old mask. The old I think, vintage I think fiberglass. The old vintage ones had more character. Mm. Didn't help much, but they look better. <laughs> Most of your cups were one with the old the vintage. vintage. What did I win? I think I won one cup. Actually, two cups. Went 87, 88, 90. Right. Where in this, the first two and the other one, right? So and that was. Yep. Why did you have to change from the vintage to the survival? Okay. More than anything. This so is the shots were coming harder. And... The old vintage mask, you didn't get cut, mm. but it was still like somebody hit you with a baseball bat. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So once you switch to these, a little more cushioning for the face. Right. And visibility wise, which one? Do you I, prefer? I still like the old one better. Oh, really? I think I can see better out of the old one. Okay. So I grew up watching Grant win so many Stanley Cups with either the vintage or this mask. Did you have any goalies that you were? fans of when you were growing up and watching and looking at the, like the artwork on their mask? I mean, Gary Simmons had the cobra in the front of his mask. That was one of the first ones that you really stood out and noticed. I mean, Jimmy Rutherford had the wings off the top of his eyes. He used to love Tony Esposito's mask. It was yeah. plain and simple and white, but it was cool. Uh -huh. Some of the old pretzel masks, you wondered how guys wore them. Yeah. <laughs> I wore the next generation, so couldn't have been all that bad. And did you have a say when it came time for your mask? Uh, like what kind of artwork you wanted on the mask, you left that? No, actually, as a goalie, you get to say. Like that mask, we just wanted to blend with the uniform. That was the original goal, right. was to have a blend in the uniform. Right. So I used to wear a blue turtleneck. So the piece on the chin was blue, so mm -hmm. blending with the turtleneck and then the colors that right. kind of burst out of that. And it kind of transcended to like this modern turkey kind of. Yep, yeah. kind of we just changed the chin a little bit, but the top was still the same. So you, you wanted this kind of pattern here, like? Yeah, I like that pattern. It just didn't look good with our uniform. You know, as you moved on with, let's say, the Kings, the Leafs, the, the patterns got a bit more complicated, the artwork a bit more complex. Did you have we, a say in that too? Oh yeah, we get a little more, how would you put it? Introspective with it. Okay. So we get to do some neat things. Nice. Like the Kings, I wanted the castles, and the wizard and that sort of thing. So yeah. the lady that paints the mask came up with that. Toronto, we had the Leafs. Then I went to the one that had the black cap on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Uh, which was one of my favorites. That is it. Buffalo, I had the white buffalo. I had a buffalo skull. So right. a couple of really good ones right. there. In St. Louis, we just, because we kept changing uniforms, you had to keep changing paint jobs. I really loved the one with St. Louis. Who, who was the painter on that one? Do you remember? Uh, I'm trying to remember her name. Marlene. I can't remember oh, her name. Ross, right? Yes, that's what it was. Right, right. I love the, the piano pattern that they had going on with that one. It's so just cool. get up, blends into the St. Louis culture. Yeah, yeah. So it was fun. And Calgary, I'm one of the Rockies. So makes sense. <laughs> it fit. So of all the masks that you've had, personally speaking, just on an artistic point of view, like which one was your favorite? I still like the old fashioned one. I mean, the old vintage one? The old vintage one is, is still my favorite. Which year? Uh, probably the 80, I started wearing it, I think, in 82, 83. Mm. Then worked about 87. So pretty much the poster of the movie. Yeah. yeah it, that's still my favorite. We have a, a super big surprise that's stuck in traffic somewhere. <laughs> it's pretty much that mask. Four feet wide. Hopefully it gets here on time so that Grant can see you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> Grant, thank you so much for your time. Andy, my pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.